have the Portland Observer article. A government executive that probably best mirrors Portland's reputation as a progressive, transit-oriented, and environmentally friendly urban mecca is stepping down. TriMet manager Fred said he's going to be pursuing other opportunities. Hansen achieved soaring heights? Soaring heights? <laughs> soaring? And accolades during his 12 years. He oversaw the opening, opening of three light rail lines and the launching of a fourth line. While expanding employment and contracting opportunities for minority population, expanding movement for minority, what you know, we've never seen that defined exactly, have we? I mean, we keep hearing that. What what does that mean? Does anybody can anybody give us some facts and figures about that? He also boosted the number of frequent bus lines and improved online too. Well, he improved the number of frequent bus lines, but it was not sustainable, and so we don't have it anymore. With these accomplishments and a host of others, TriMet has truly made a difference in how the region looks and moves. Time and again, again, we visit. Yeah, when visitors come here, this is what they say. Yeah, when visitors, listen, they don't live here. You can't listen to visitors. You don't. You have to listen to the people that actually use the system because they have to use it, not because they're just. Oh, let's have a good time in Portland and see the tram and the streetcar. Yep. Okay. Enter call time at TriMet. The most rewarding is personal experience. Yep. This is because of the work here combines a great mission, making this region the most livable and trans... Made, the most livable, but you better have a damn job when you get here, because there ain't no jobs, and you ain't going to be getting a job. And the jobs are drying up here. We've lost, according to the TriMet Financial Law, we've lost 70,000 jobs here. This is one of the worst... Uh, one of the worst places in the country is in Portland to get work. But we got light rail, so... You, yeah, I guess that's good. Uh, things are always, there are things we can always improve. Currently, the current recession that is rival the Great Depression. There is nothing about this recession that rivals the Great Depression. The only thing that happened is the payroll tax dried up because apparently they thought they were going to have an increase in payroll taxes forever. They never, never counted on actually, uh, losing some money. They just thought there'd be jobs, job growth forever or something. I don't know what they were thinking. Hanson served as a general manager after serving four years as deputy administrator. Oh, here's, a, this is interesting. I've always wondered what he did. He was deputy administrator of the USPA. We knew that. He was also director of the Oregon Department of Environmental from 1980. Yeah, we knew that. He served as Oregon's deputy state treasurer, executive officer of the Peace Corps, and chief staff of the member of Congress from Oregon. Notice how not one of those positions had transit in it. He never had a transit job until this one. What does that say? No, well, he did ride the buses, though. And he was a nice guy. I, I will first one to agree he was a nice guy. As he looks for the future, Hanson said he would be considering opportunities to promote greener technology in the transportation industry, furthering the connections among land use, transportation, and climate change. He also again indicated his intent to expand his volunteer work. Well, that'd be nice. A native of Fiordan, he earned a master's degree from McMaster University. And he completed a year of doctor doctoral work at John Hopkins. Did he get his doctorate? No, he didn't get his doctorate, but he tried, I guess. So, another paper comes out in favor of Trimit Fred Hansen. It is unanimous. The entire media of the entire city and state Portland and Oregon are unanimous in saying that Fred Hansen was the greatest thing that happened in Oregon since the invention of the Burnside Bridge. 